Capricorn. Elsie here to do your reading. Welcome for welcome to not for, but welcome to your uh, energetic check-in for the week ahead. We are leading. This is all leading up to February the fourteenth, right? Um, so we're checking in for uh, some early energy here in this reading. Um, anything you want to know about it is down in the uh, description below. If you are looking for a private reading with me, I am open to private readings. If you are in Canada, please email me Elsie at ten of cups tarot.ca. If you are anywhere else in the world, please go to Wizio, W-I-S-I-O dot com and book your reading with me there. There are several packages. I really hope that you will uh, end up subscribing here once you see the content. I really hope, even if you don't subscribe, that you do end up giving me a thumbs up on one or more of my videos. This is how my channel grows, so if you want to support me, that is the best way to do it. All right, here we go. We are looking at, first of all, what is on your mind? What is in the past energy? What is in the future energy? And then we will look at how your person is feeling about you. And who is that person? It's whomever is on your mind, right? So um, let's go ahead and get some cards here. Aha! So what's on your mind is appreciation. And... Um, maybe getting some reciprocity, hopefully someone who is going to offer you some reciprocity and um, appreciate you, tell you how much they do appreciate you. So I think that's on your mind that you do a lot for someone uh, in your life and you're just hoping to get a thank you, I think. Uh, door to spirit. Um, door to spirit in the past, I feel like you um, woke up in the past. Door to spirit means that you are um, far more aware than you were. Uh, I feel like this was a quick change that you thought that it might be something that you would lead up to over months and years. But I think that one day you woke up and you were like, wow, um, this thing is coming forward to me. And that's the thing that I have been manifesting. I think I get it now. So I think that maybe you leveled up spiritually in the past. Then in the future, we have journey. I feel like you maybe ha are looking, waiting to go on a journey, or maybe you're currently on a journey of your own, but we'll clarify more. And this last card here, this person, your person, the one you're thinking about, how do they feel about you? Let me just one moment here. How do they feel about you? They see you as someone who really speaks up. The fifth chakra is about self-expression. It's about speaking your truth, speaking out, speaking aloud. And I feel like what you really want ultimately is victory. So um, you do want victory in whatever is going on here. We'll find out what that is. Um, I have got the uh, Island Time Wellness cards. And this is what's going to be what is on your heart. What's on your heart, Capricorn? What sort of thing? are on your heart at this time. We have addiction. Uh, it says codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a black, has Oh, has a block and restraint. So I feel like someone in either you or someone you know is codependent upon you. Maybe you're codependent upon someone else. Um, I feel like whatever it is um, that this person could be a little bit controlling. Maybe you have an energetic block and that's why you have uh, an addiction either to some sort of substance or a person. It doesn't necessarily have to be a substance, right? Um, what else do we have here? We have mask and uh, not showing your true feelings. So I think you know someone um, that isn't either isn't showing you their true feelings or you're not showing them um, uh, your true feelings or they're not showing theirs. There we go. And um, this can make you feel a little deluded, right? It can make you feel like they're um, maybe gaslighting at times. Um, you're not sure what to expect from them in terms of a relationship because they don't really share much. So um, I feel like you feel someone in your environment is wearing a mask and not really telling you everything that you need to know. Like that's not really telling out and out lies. Um, that is uh, telling... Um, maybe telling you something that you didn't know or maybe something you did know that they weren't speaking of, like feelings. All right, let's figure out what's going on in your mind here. Appreciation is the card that we got. So let's clarify. I'm just going to cut these. All right, so let's clarify. Appreciation and... Um, 
What is it about the appreciation that uh, is on your mind, Capricorn? What about appreciation is on Capricorn's mind? All right. We have um, Seven of Cups. So I feel as though you want more emotion. I feel like you feel that the appreciation isn't there when they don't show you affection or emotion. And um, your person is someone who is hiding, is hiding the right word, someone who is blocking you from their affection. I feel like sometimes they pretend they don't care, um, but then other times they're smothering you, um, that this person isn't really showing you their true feelings, and I don't know why, but what I can tell you is, is that they feel as though they've got some wiggle room, that they've been released from something, and uh, something that they felt stuck to. So this could be an old relationship, an old feeling. I feel like they no longer are scared of um, the emotions that you two share together. But I don't feel as, but I do feel as though they don't really have the appreciation down. They don't really know how to say thank you. And um, that's really not something that they grew up with. Showing of emotions I feel this person only shows the emotion of love because they know how to do that or of being attracted to you, being romantic. I feel like they know about those things, but I feel what they don't know is deep appreciation and um, admiration and um, things like that. So there's other things that are harder for them to express. And although they aren't scared of your emotion anymore, I feel like they're trying to find a way to express their appreciation emotionally to you, but they still haven't figured it out. Um, your person could be Virgo Taurus Capricorn, like you, an earth sign. But I also feel like this is slow coming. This person is trying to learn um, how to appreciate you and what to do to appreciate you, um, but they haven't quite got it down yet. And I think you just need to be patient with them that this is slow moving and Virgo is slow moving. Very patient, always trying to break it down to the lowest common denominator, right? Trying to figure out mathematically how they're going to get through it or get around it. And I think it's just going to take some time, it's all. So I think that the appreciation is going to come um, if they don't, if they are not showing that appreciation um, right now. I think it is going to come. I think they are getting through a hard time right now. So I think that they've been going through a lot of things that they're not talking to you about, um, depression, anxiety. I feel like they're starting to feel better when it comes to these feelings, the things that are they're overthinking that are going on in their head. But I feel like the appreciation was um, is something that they're not really working on because it's not really high on the list of priorities of things they need to work out. So, um, we have the door to spirit. Tell me about that. That's, this door to spirit now makes a little more, um, a little more sense. So, door to spirit for Capricorn. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter, please. Clarify door to spirit. I think everything you want is on the other side of that door, Cappy. And I think that you're not going to get any of that if you do not heal. And what does that mean? It doesn't mean just healing from other relationships. It means healing from addiction. It means healing from a childhood. It means a lot of things. It means healing from things that hurt you. Uh, trauma, past traumas. I feel like that you really do need to connect to spirit um, in meditation, manifestation, enable, to be able to have those things uh, healed. I think that you know how to heal them, that it's within you, but you just have to ask. And I don't think you're really good at asking. The... Um, the world card is here and that tells me that you have closed a chapter and the chapter I feel like you have closed is being asleep. I feel like now you're awake. You're awake to spiritual things. You're seeing uh, signs and symbols. You're seeing things that are you can no longer discount as being um, coincidental. I feel like um, the door to spirit has opened, you have stepped through, and you cannot step back. So I feel like you have learned some sort of a karmic lesson, and uh, going forward, you are going to be a different person for sure. And then we have the sun, wow. So yeah, 
three major arcana cards on the door to spirit which is really cool because the major arcana cards are cards that are dropped in your reading by the universe in order to keep you on your divine path so i feel like you did it the first time you took a step forward by the door to spirit being open for you you took a step through that door the star and then i feel like you decided to put um put away the person that you used to be to carry on this spiritual life that you've always wanted and uh with the sun, I feel like you're now going to grow. Um, you've now hit a growth spurt here. You're going to grow. You're going to learn again. You're going to be pulling in a whole bunch of knowledge about things that are uh, spiritual. You're going to understand and trust your uh, guides and angels that give you signs and symbols. You can no longer discount those things as being coincidence anymore. Yep, it's a brand new start. It's a brand new day. And four major arcana on the door to spirit. That is amazing. That's pretty cool. So, um, yeah, all these things you must do. You cannot get around these things or skirt around them. Yeah, you have to walk through and um, you have a new start now with your new eyes, your new ears, looking at the world very differently. The journey... I feel like the journey is your spirituality. This journey now is, you know, wherever you go, you will take your light, your light will shine, and um, I feel like you feel a little more magical, that there actually is a way for you to get all the things that you want, and that's on your journey to spirituality. I feel like you've been manifesting, you now understand that you know how to pull um, that type of energy in whatever it is that you want whatever it is that this victory is that you know how to pull energy into you now yeah you're going to pull in the ten of cups so now that you know how to manifest that's what you're going to do it still is a little bit scary for you though you do know that there is things in the distance that you can't see um, you know things are sometimes not as they appear and um, I feel like first of all the first thing you're going to start to manifest is the emotional happiness the of cups um but i feel as though in your heart of hearts that you don't really feel like it can be manifested that um there's too much energy that is clouding the happiest that you can be i really feel like it's a mind construct though i feel like it's an energetic block i feel like maybe the crown shocker is not allowing you to connect like you want to and i think this is because you are very new to this new spiritual journey and it all takes time and practice. We have the Nine of Cups, and I feel like um, the uh, Nine of Cups is saying that um, your wish fulfillment is that you do have a Ten of Cups journey, that, you know, things are all going to go well, things are going to end in marriage, and you're going to have children and happy, And but it doesn't always end up that way. I feel like that's your wish. I feel like you're a little worried about how things are going to... Um, unfold from here that your wishful thinking and what you're manifesting is the ten of cups but you know this is all a journey and it does take time i think that the person you're with now is um really into giving you the things that you need so you can heal i think that you're healing each other actually and i think that's why you've met each other um although i feel like your person capricorn is someone who isn't quite telling you all their feelings i think they're scared of them they're scared of them because they're really serious about you and um they're scared that it's too soon after whatever went on in the past it's too soon to fall in love again but they can't help it because you're so lovely yeah and i i really don't blame them i don't really know a capricorn who isn't lovely so um then how they're feeling about you how they're feeling about you is that you're always speaking your mind and i think that isn't it isn't something that is um something that annoys them i think it's something that they admire <clears throat> because I think that your person has a hard time doing that. Speaking up, using the throat chakra. If there is a block, I would suggest that you, um, if there, if it, if this isn't you and you can't speak your mind, I would suggest that you speak to someone who is like a Reiki master who can help you realign your energies and remove some energetic blocks. But the fifth chakra is about speaking your mind, speaking your truth, um, and being able to speak up on your own behalf. All right, so your person sees you, uh, Capricorn, as someone who is really good at speaking their mind. Um, tell me more about the fifth chakra, please. I feel like when you speak your mind that you feel a lot more balanced. 
and this person admires that in you that you can actually bring forth the words and say the things that they never would or don't have the courage to. So I feel like something that you say causes a tower within your person. And um, it could definitely just be that, um, you know, you say something that, that hits a chord with them, right? We don't necessarily know everybody's triggers. <laughs> we all, some of us have triggers, right? And you could have touched on something that you didn't understand you were touching on because you don't know this person well enough to know what went on in the past. So I feel like um, you speaking up really has, uh, has them in a tower. Tell me about this tower, please, for Capricorn. The tower is um, the... <clears throat> The tower is that they want to wait. You want to move things forward quickly, and they do not. Um, they're trying to be really grounded, really practical. Um, they're trying to wait to make sure that, you know, looking at the Seven of Pentacles, you know, it's all about um, the, you know, growing of these pentacles and um, being patient enough to have them grow. I think that um, your person wants you to slow down a little bit. Uh, I think that they are trying to keep up with you, but you've had a lot more time to mull over what's going on. Um, I feel like they have probably just come out of something that was really tough, and I feel like they want you to slow down. They want you to wait. Seven of Pentacles is about sowing seeds of intention and then moving forward. And then we have the Three of Cups. They could still be um, getting rid of an old relationship or the thoughts of uh, an old relationship. I feel like this is more of a third party than it is a celebration. Um, although I don't feel like it's a heavy third party. I don't think your person's cheating on you. I don't think that they're, you know, within some in some sort of text land texting at midnight. But I feel like they are still um, very... Um, your person is very quiet about the things that they do. Um, what does that mean? Why'd you give me those words? Quiet about the things that they do. I feel like they're not ready to share it all with you yet, Capricorn. And there is a reason for that. Um, I feel like they are, in fact, in contact with someone else from their past that they may have had a relationship with, a marriage, a committed relationship, whatever it is. And I feel like they're still in touch with that person. They may have to be, though, because of children. But nonetheless, um, this person, I feel that is your person, is still in contact with the ex. And that doesn't sit well with you. But, you know, the fact of the matter is, is that we sometimes get into relationships where there are ex-partners and children involved. And then we have the Page of Cups. And uh, Page of Cups tells me that there could be an age difference between you. So I think that your person um, is feeling the shakedown of the tower. One, because you are able to speak your mind. Two, something you said has um, made your um, made you think that they're still in touch with someone from their past that they had been connected to romantically. I feel like your person is trying to get you to slow things down, that you're moving too quickly. And uh, the Page of Cups tells me that um, there could be an age difference between you. That could be a reason that they're trying to get you to slow down a bit. Um, but also also could be the same reason that they're really not uh, telling you everything that they could, right? They're trying to keep some things quiet, and I'm not sure why. So one more card for the tower, please. One more card for this tower, please, for Capricorn. We have the Two of Wands. So um, your person is trying to pick a path, right? Trying to compartmentalize um, the last relationship, compartmentalize your relationship, and keep them apart. And uh, I think that, yeah, I'm going to say that there's probably children in the last relationship, and so they have to uh, stay connected to the ex. Okay, so... I think that you're speaking up about that too, and that kind of makes them a little bit nervous. What else do we have for the fifth chakra? Speaking up. The fifth chakra, please. Fifth chakra tells me um, nine of wands, which is the wounded warrior. Um, your person feels like you you could be planning something behind their back, and uh, that that they're tired of it. They're tired of not really knowing what's going on. 
and then we have the high priestess. So they have been trying to meditate to get through this, trying to manifest the things that you two um, are going to do in this relationship. I don't know. Is it an addiction? I, we have addictions here, um, and we have mask here. So someone is not telling the whole truth. Um, I feel like someone is not showing their true feelings and it could be because they have a codependent relationship with the last person that was in their life. All right, so let's take a look at the fairy oracle here. We're going to ask for advice uh, for this reading here for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. We have Wisdom. And the advice is asking, have you ever been told that you were wise beyond your years? Um, now is the time to call upon your inner fairy wisdom to help you with a challenge. So, um, wisdom. Have you ever been told that you're wise beyond your years? Sometimes people will come to you, Capricorn, for information about how to get through the things they're trying to get through. But that doesn't mean that you don't have a person that you should be going to to get your information. So yes, please make sure that you drink from your own cup first before you start emptying it into other cups. And um, yeah, that's really what I have for you for this week. So I'm going to go for now. I will see you next week. And uh, thank you for coming by. Love you a bunch. Bye-bye.